Okay, so we already did a deep dive on Avalanche about uh, what it all is and everything that it entails. We had somebody from Avalanche come in and talk to us, and uh, now we're gonna talk about staking. So depending on where you're watching this video, if you're watching this on YouTube as it is all together, or if uh, I've broken these up into two different videos, you can find the Avalanche Deep Dive. I will link that in the description, or it'll also be at the, at the end of this video. Or if you're watching the whole thing together, uh, then of course, this is just seamless. And also, if you're watching this over at uh, danteachescrypto.com, just know that uh, everything that we talk about, the links for everything will be right below uh, the video itself. Or on YouTube, the links will be in the description. So what we're going to talk about today, right now, is uh, why should we stake our Avalanche? We're going to do a wallet, Avalanche wallet setup, how to transfer your Avalanche from an exchange to the wallet, the difference between an exchange and a P-chain, and the rewards you can expect. And uh, then we're going to talk about uh, the Dan Avalanche stake pool ID and how to stake to that. So the first thing I want to talk about is why stake it? Why even stake Avalanche right now? Because on some exchanges, you can just go over there and, and gain some yield. And you're like, well, it's great. And the answer is, you don't have to move it. You can keep it right there and you can gain yield. But here's the thing about exchanges is that some exchanges actually do stake your avalanche, but a lot of them don't. A lot of them rehypothecate your avalanche. They give it to hedge funds or to institutions, and they're able to do whatever they want to do with that. They, uh, they can short things. Uh, they can put it out in different markets. They can do essentially whatever it is. And then here's the, the uh, odd thing about that, and, and we've talked a lot of different, uh, different exchanges about their terms of service. Uh, they're not responsible uh, if something happens or there's a big hack. So just know that if something goes wrong, uh, you're on the hook and you don't own anything, really. So when you're talking about staking uh, Avalanche, with Avalanche, you keep it in your Avalanche wallet, which we're gonna set up in a little bit. You have control of your private keys and you decide uh, what happens. So that is uh, the, the one big thing to keep yourself safe. Uh, also, just know that, uh, again, some exchanges are not staking it. They're just uh, rehypothecating it. And uh, if you stake your Avalanche, you are actually uh, securing the network and it actually kind of works uh, pretty well in that regard. So again, it's up to you. Your goals are not my goals. I personally stake and uh, I'm a validator here. So what I want to do real quick is do a uh, Avalanche uh, wallet setup. So what we're going to do is go to this uh, this site, looks just like this, and it's uh, wallet.avax.network. And uh, it's pretty simple right here. It's going to ask, do you want to access the wallet you have or create your new wallet? So I already have one, but just so you know how this works, you're just going to click on create new wallet. And if you click on generate the key phrase, that's going to generate a mnemonic phrase. So if something happens, you can get back into your wallet. Never share this with anybody. Make sure you write this down. I personally use a stone book. There are links in the description or right below if you're on Dan Teaches Crypto. And it saves them all right there. So they're uh, really ready and handy. Do not lose this. And also don't write Write this down and put it in or type it into your computer because your computer get hacked as well. Keep it offline. Old fashioned is sometimes the best. So uh, that is how to generate a wallet. I already have one. So I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to click on access wallet. And there's a number of ways to access your wallet. Again, you use the private key, the mnemonic key phrase that uh, we just generated before, or what's called a key store file. And a key store file is uh, you can do that in the advanced part of the wallet. It makes it just simple to get in, but it doesn't really matter. So whatever you want to do. So I'm going to find my key store file, put it in my password, and I'll be right back. Okay, pretty simple, right? We've already set up our wallet, and this is what mine looks like. And you're going to notice that it's, it's a little bit different than some of the wallets that you're used to. There is what's called uh, right here, it's called the X chain, the P chain, and the C chain. Just so you know, just to give you an overview of what the heck is going on and why that's so important, uh, there is three types. So the AVEX, to AVEX tokens exist on the X chain where they can be traded on the P chain, where they can be provided as a stake when validating the primary network, which we're gonna do in a second. And on the C chain, where they can be used in smart contracts or to pay for gas. So that's important to know uh, those three terminologies. So again, uh, we have the X chain, which is where right now all my AVAX is, which is a whopping 28, uh, the P chain and the C chain. So what we wanna do right now is uh, I wanna show you, if you don't know, uh, is how to transfer AVAX from your exchange into your new Avalanche wallet. I'm gonna make this uh, very quick and simple or as simple as I could possibly make it. And I'm just gonna use KuCoin. And KuCoin's pretty easy to work with. Uh, here, we've got a bunch of my whopping 5.7 Avalanche here. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on withdraw. And when I withdraw, then it's gonna ask me, okay, what wallet network amount and remarks. So where do I find the wallet? Well, I'm gonna go back over here and it's Avalanche, let me blow this up so you can see this. 
So again, X chain, P chain, C chain. I want to show you what would happen because I want to use the X chain, right? That's the exchange. That's when I want to transfer things. I'm not going to stake it right now. So if I use the P chain, what would happen as far as if I screwed up? So I'm going to copy this where it says P A VAX, U N T Q, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to go back to KuCoin and I'm going to put in this wallet address that I just did. And it's going to ask me about the network. It says contains invalid or sensitive information and see everything. Let's see if I can do this. Address does not match the chosen network. How about an AVAC C chain? Does not match the, the, the network. So I can't do anything right now because I'm not on the right chain. So I'm gonna go back and do the right thing that I'm supposed to do where I'm on the X chain up here. I'm gonna click on the copy button and I'm gonna go back to KuCoin and I'm gonna wipe this out because I uh, it's not right. Put this in and then come back here and it's gonna say that's not right, but maybe Ah, there it is. I'm on the right chain or the night network, the X chain. So now I can withdraw from exchange. So I've got a max of 5.7. I'm a baller. So let me put in two. <laughs> and I want to put this to, I'll just say, to a VAX wallet. And it's going to say, do you want to confirm? Yes, I want to confirm. And before I do that, uh, this is something I always do. I just I just compare the first four uh, characters, X A V A X, and then the last four, uh, N U N Q T J or something like that. Let me take a look over here. Is that right? X A V A X, N U N Q T J. Okay, it looks right. I just want to make sure because uh, I uh, I'm a control freak. So confirm, and I'm going to click on. Does this look right? Yeah, it looks right. Confirm withdrawal. And then it's gonna ask me for my password and a code and all this stuff because I like security. I don't wanna get ripped off. So let me put that in right now. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna click on send code to my phone, which should be, actually should go pretty much right away. Let me make sure. Yeah, and there it is, wow. Let me put this in, 980. <laughs> and this only lasts for 45 seconds, so it doesn't really matter. And submit, and bam, I am successful. So now this is going to take, usually it takes a couple of minutes to hit my wallet, but uh, that, it's not important right now. We'll, we'll check it out in a second. Here's all, my, here's all my different transactions I have over here. But I, I just want to show that to you so you know exactly how that works, is how to transfer and, uh, your avalanche from your exchange to your wallet. And again, every wallet is different, but it's the same kind of process almost. It's just find a way to, to hit a button to where you withdraw or do whatever, and then just find the right, uh, just uh, copy and paste that wallet address and off you go. So now what I wanna talk about <clears throat> is what's called uh, the X chain to P chain and the rewards. What am I talking about here? So this right here, let's go back to our wallet though. And you got portfolio on the left-hand side, send, which we don't really care about right now, and what's called cross-chain. And you can see right here, it says source X to destination uh, P. And what they're talking about here, when we go down to earn, uh, just to make this very crystal clear, where it says uh, to validate, you need 2,000 AVAX. Okay, we don't, we, you don't, we don't have that right now. Uh, but for delegation, uh, if you do not own an Avalanche node but want to stake your using node, you must have at least 25 AVAX on the P chain to become a delegator. Okay, so that means essentially is that all those tokens that we just went from KuCoin to the X chain, now you have to go from the X chain to the P chain, which is pretty simple because we click on cross chain and it says the source X destination P down here, source X to P, how much do I want to put? Ugh, I don't want to put the max. Let's just put 27. I'm going to put 27 ABAC, so I need a minimum of 25 to get this going. And there's a fee of 0 0.002, which is like 20 cents or something like that. I don't know. Right now, I think Avalanche is like 30 bucks. Okay. So I'm going to click on confirm. And it's going to say, do you want to do this? Yes, I do. Transfer. And it's going to go, okay. Export to import. And committed. So now what I want to do is just to make sure if I look up here in the top, top middle here, it says, here's my balance. What's on the X chain? 3.984. What's on the P chain? 27 AVAX. Now we can do what's called go to earn and we want to delegate. And we're going to add a, what's called a delegator right here. So click on that. 
And then just, you know, look at these fees. Woo. So there's different nodes, just like in every place, you know, uh, Cardano or Solana, whatever else, there's different fees for it, right? Some are 10%, 20%, 5%. That seems pretty reasonable. And uh, a validator stakes and so on and so forth available and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, man, what? 50% fees. That's crazy. Okay. It doesn't matter. So what I want to show you is up here. Let me zoom out a little bit. It says select a node to delegate. You're welcome to delegate to anybody you want to. But I hope that you would delegate to Digital, digital Asset News uh, Avalanche Stake Node. And we need a, a node ID. Where do we find that? Well, a great thing is that I made this as super simple as I possibly could. If you go over to danteachescrypto.com, the thing that circles above my head constantly, uh, when we go there, in the uh, upper part here for the menu, it says home, sign up, about, reviews, blog, contact, staking. We've got two. We've got all the information you want to know about Cardano staking. And then there's also, I added this in a couple nights ago, Avalanche staking or AVAX. We're going to click on AVAX staking. And it's going to take us over here to this nice little page. And it's going to talk about Digital Asset News AVAX stake pool. And this is all the information that you need about uh, our stake pool. So just so you know, uh, the owner pledge, uh, I pledged 50,000 AVAX, which was no small feat. Let's just be honest. 50,000 at around 30 bucks. Yeah, 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 a little bit. So with this, this is what I pledged and I put it up for a year. I'm staking it for a year. I believe in Avalanche. I believe in the team. So I want to show everybody this is how it's going to work out. So I got 50,000 AVAX. Works pretty well. Transparency. If you want to find out all the information we just started, you can click on here and it's going to take you to this nice uh, staking of our AVA scan about our node. And node ID is right here. It says EB blah, 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 blah. Okay. And that's us. And we're staking for a complete year and we put in 50,000. Okay. So be before we go on, uh, just so you know, you can find that, that node ID there. I put the node ID also up here so you can find it very simply. Um, the videos itself, here's the deep dive. If you want to watch it, it's over there. Here's all the links you need. See, it has, uh, we've got roadmap. So you can take a look at the roadmap of Avalanche, which we talked about in the deep dive, the website for AVAX Network. And then you click on this. This will take you to the wallet where we just created it in the beginning. And also it's some tokenomics right there. And then as you, uh, let me see here, as you scroll down here, this is the video you're watching right now, which is about how to stake it. So just so you know, there's a little bit of differences between like an Ethereum staking, a Cardano staking and an Avalanche staking. And here's how it really works out. It goes like this. So for Ethereum, you have to lock up your Ethereum for until Ethereum 2.0 comes out. Could be a year, it could be two, nobody knows. Uh, just depends. And that also you are not keeping in your own wallet. It's going to another wallet uh, for a validator. And that's how it goes. So you're not in control of it, really. Uh, also, uh, on Cardano, uh, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, you keep it in your, your Daedalus, your Roy, or Ada Light wallet. You control your private keys. And there's no lockup time. So you can remove it at any time you want to. This is good and bad. Uh, because you can take it out whenever you want to, but that means that anybody else can take it out. And since it's not locked up, uh, that means that it's really not off the market any, any one time. It's good for for easy use and everything else, but uh, to see like all the different tokens that are locked up, um, if you can lock up a ton of tokens and if that would decrease the actual uh, supply because it's all locked up for years or whatever else, uh, and you still have the same demand, what happens to the price? It usually goes up. Here's how it works with Avalanche. Avalanche, you're going to keep it in your wallet, the Aval Avalanche wallet you just created. You're in control of your private keys like I talked about. However, you're going to have to pick a lockup time period, and that could be between two weeks and a year. And right now, a year, you're getting about 10% yield, which is pretty good, let's be honest, uh, for just locking up and doing absolutely nothing. Uh, you can pick six months, you can pick two weeks, whatever, uh, but there's different time frames that you can do. And the, the less time frame that you pick, the less your yield. So I think like in six months, you get around 4.99% uh, percent, uh, for six months. Again, uh, the more people that actually lock it up for a longer period of time, I think the more that we'll see an increase in the price because people can't get any more avalanche because it is locked up for all this time. And now it comes down to you. What is the best option for you? Um, I don't know because um, your goals are not my goals. So it's up to you to decide do I, what I want to do, how long I want to lock it up. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. So 
let's take, let's go back here. I like kind of got off a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the website itself, we've already copied the ID. Let me do it one more time just to make sure. That is the note ID. You can find a couple different places. I will actually link it in the description in the YouTube video. I will link it below at Dan Teaches Crypto. I have it on the webpage, so it's very easy to find. Let's go to our wallet and we're gonna search for a note ID. We're gonna paste that in. And there we are. So validator stake, 50,000. Available, 200,000. That means this, how much more can be delegated this, this validator? So for ours, I've already put in 550,000, okay? And we only have a maximum uh, amount to be saturated at 200,000. I expect this to happen very quickly and we just want to keep it low. Uh, this is where we're at. So this will be our uh, uh, pool will be for a year. You're welcome to delegate for two weeks, six months, a year, whatever you want to do. And this is our fee, which is 5%. So you just saw some other fees were 50%, 20%. There was like one 5%. Um, and ours is 5%. And what that means is the reward that you get in AVAX, uh, that's just the charge we have. So like if you get 100 AVAX for however much time, we just charge 5%. So we're gonna take a whopping five AVAX for doing all those things and that's it. So that's really what we got. All right, so next thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click on uh, select. And then real quick before I do that, if you wanna take a look at um, uh, just how much is being locked up and, and how much you could potentially get, as far as like uh, lockup periods, I mean, uh, for staking, if you look at Cardano, just so you know, total stake for Cardano is 70%. That's a lot. But if you look at Avalanche, you know how much is staked already? Or how much is locked up, really? Locked. 56%. So when I talk about the price appreciation in the, in the, in the deep dive video, I mean it. I think this could be a very big thing. And it's, uh, I think it's almost, uh, it's, a, it's a balance between the, the, the best of both worlds. And then if you want to take a look at uh, uh, the rewards, just go, I'll link this also, it's under staking rewards. If you put in, uh, let's see here, $1,000 worth of uh, AVAX for a year, it's about 10%. And uh, let's go for 180 days, you're looking at 5%. Uh, 90 days, it goes even two and a half percent. So again, it just depends on, on how much you wanna lock up and, uh, and go from there. So that's uh, really what it comes down to as far as rewards. So let's go back and select this one and go here. So just so you know, node ID, EB, blah, 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 5PP, the five is 5%. Uptime, our uptime for the Cardano stake pool is 99.9%. We're gonna have the same on Avalanche. Uh, active stake is 50,000. Available stake is 200,000. The stake start date was, uh, looks like it's August 17th. So that was just two days ago. And the stake date ends August 17th, 2022. Uh, so the staking end date. Now this is where you pick it. Your AVAX tokens will be locked until this date, September 9th, 2021, if you want to. Let's pick something a little bit later. Let's go to the 13th. And... Let's do a max. And this is, and the staking duration is 86 days. Estimated rewards, it'll put it right here, a 0.57. The fee is 0.03 AVAX. It's pretty low, but that is what's uh, 5%. Um, yeah, 5% of 0.57 and off you go. So let's just do max and see what our estimated rewards would be. So for, <laughs> it's funny, for 27 AVAX, we're gonna get almost three and the fee is 0 0.14. Again, the longer you pick, uh, the more it is. And you can do an AVAX, you can see that in USD, how much that's worth, it's pretty good. And then there's the fee. So you get $86, the fee is $4. And I'm just gonna go for a year. One, let's just confirm it. Now, once I confirm this, just so you know, you are locked in. You can't move this around. You can't go, ah, I didn't really wanna do that. I wanna take it out. So again, be very careful with how you stake. You wanna go two weeks, Three months, six months, uh, a year. How much do you want to go? And uh, and that is it. So let's click on uh, confirm. Again, it's going to 27 AVAX. Delegation will start five minutes after you submit the form. So if you want to change, you're like, well, I didn't do that right. And da da da, -da off you go. And then we're going to click on submit. And right there, we are what is known as committed. You are committed. And that's it. All right. So that, my friends, 
is all we have as far as for staking. So look, um, I hope this uh, staking video helped you out and uh, made you, uh, helped you in your, your decision. Again, this is the not financial advice, this is a financial opinion. And again, your goals are not my goals, but I just wanna make it as easy as possible and as thorough as possible so you understand the whole process of how this all works. Again, you can find the information over at uh, danteachescrypto.com. Click on staking and AVAC staking. You'll find all the information there. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.